Hi, my name is Dr. Laura Portales, and I'm going to be walking you through the practice exam. Uh, and we'll focus on case two on this one for the course managing people. First, we'll look at the case study and do some analysis on that. And then we'll go through some real questions that are on the practice case. So let's go ahead and get started. The introduction to this case study presents us uh, and helps us get to know Eric a little bit. And Eric has just graduated with an MBA and he just got a position. And as he was interviewing for the position, he met a person named Vanessa and uh, he met her. And at first she was really helpful to him, but then he started to find maybe that she wasn't quite so approachable and so helpful. So this part of the case gives us some context about the relationship between these two individuals. And it also introduces us to Steve, who is the vice president of operations. And both Vanessa and Eric ultimately report to Steve as the VP of operations. So let's take a look at a little bit more detail surrounding this case. So after the background information, we learned that there have been some challenges between Vanessa and Eric. And some of those challenges revolve around Jane, who is friends with Vanessa, but actually reports to Eric. So there are some challenges there in that Vanessa believes that Eric has ulterior motives and that when they start to degree, they end up arguing instead of uh, respecting each other and discussing the issues calmly. And another problem is that Eric overheard Vanessa complaining to employees about him, and he just feels that she would not work with him to address the issues that they have. So as this problem has escalated, Steve, who you remember is their manager, uh, scheduled a meeting to address the tension between Vanessa and Eric, and has asked them to work together as a team and worked res respectfully together. He talked about he would discipline or terminate if they did not stop their constant arguments. And as a result, Vanessa became quite unmotivated and started keeping to herself. And she did her job, but she did nothing more. And Eric has feelings that Vanessa doesn't really value his education and training. And he has some strong feelings about the direction that they need to go in working together. So let's take a look at some of the questions for the case and we'll address those and talk about how they relate back to the case and the content. Our first question on this case reads, what aspect most likely contributes to the animosity Eric and Vanessa have toward each other? And we can see the options listed here and the correct answer is D, perception. As you learn from this course, people perceive things in very different ways, and that is really the result of what is causing the issues. For example, we learned that Eric doesn't think that Vanessa values his education, but that's just his perception. We don't know if that's actually true. So while their beliefs could be different, their demographics are different, and interpretation is different, Really here we're looking at perception and different perception about the same situation. So the correct answer again is D. And this relates to course learning outcome, which is evaluate the effect of a diverse work environment on managerial decision making and human resource decisions. Let's take a look at another question. In this course, you learned about different types of biases. So this question is asking what bias could Steve project toward Vanessa unknowingly. And you can see that there are uh, several possible options here with the correct answer being B, the halo effect. So remember we discussed in the course that there's the halo effect where you like someone so you think everything is good about them. But remember there's the reverse halo effect where you don't like someone so everything feels negative about them. So that would be the correct answer here, B. And uh, perception, gender bias, recency bias, we don't really have any evidence of that, but we definitely have evidence of a possible reverse halo effect. So this ties directly to our course learning outcome, which is evaluate the effect of a diverse work environment on managerial decision-making and human resource decisions. Let's take a look at another question. Let's read this question together. 
Which delivery method should Steve use to ensure two-way communication is achieved between him and Eric where he can more easily read body language? And you can see our choices here, digitally, orally, non-verbally, and in writing. And the correct answer is B, orally. So when we have an emotional situation or it's important to be able to read the body language and so forth, we always wanna communicate with someone orally as opposed to in writing such as an email or uh, digitally. So orally either in person or on a video conference or even a phone call would be better than the other methods that are addressed here. This relates to course learning outcome develop communication skills to manage diverse groups of people and create effective teams. Let's look at another question. This question is focused on office dynamics and it says, considering office dynamics, what form of communication should Steve use with Eric? And we look at the options here, formal communication, vertical communication, informal communication, and horizontal. And the correct answer here is D, horizontal communication, because he's not really using formal communication. It's not vertical communication because it's not to a different department and it's not really informal communication. So most likely it's horizontal communication. He's communicating with one of his colleagues. Our course learning outcome here is develop communication skills to manage diverse groups of people and create effective teams. Let's take a look at the next question. This question asks about Eric and Vanessa's disagreements and it asks specifically what Steve can do as a facilitator and a leader to ensure Eric and Vanessa are productive while working as a team. So the correct answer here is D, encourage consensus. Um, giving feedback or voting on topics or commanding the team, those usually aren't the right ways to address these type of conflicts and these type of issues. So encouraging consensus, meeting with them as he's already done is most certainly the best way to, to try to motivate this team and, and help them get along and be a little bit more productive as they work together. The course learning outcome for this question is evaluate frameworks that support managerial decision making and improve organizational efficiencies. Let's take a look at our conclusion now. Our conclusion for this case study review video, a couple of tips that I'd like to share with you. The first is when you review the study guide and you review the practice exam, this is really going to help prepare you for um, the final exam. So you'll really wanna spend a lot of time on these and avoid rushing through it to get to the final exam and take your time and make sure you understand the concepts and anything maybe that you've gotten wrong or that you don't understand, definitely go back and read the con as, as you to, to those areas where you may wanna work on. And I wish you the best of luck on the practice exam. And thank you for watching this video. It's been a pleasure to work with you throughout the course in recording these videos. And again, I wish you the best of luck on the exam and also in your career.